Do you mean for a transform? No, no, I mean just a Fourier transformation. To reveal the hidden frequencies of the universe, mathematicians have developed the Fourier transform, named after the inventor Joseph Fourier. I'll make it intuitive for you. Imagine a rotating point on a circle, moving at a speed determined by a frequency. That's at the heart of the Fourier transform. What we do is we take a point of a signal and map it onto that rotating circle. We then compare it at different speeds of rotation and see to which extent that frequency of that speed is present in that signal. But there's the catch. Time resolution, so how small we can divide the signal in time, and frequency resolution, so how precisely we can detect frequencies, are in a trade-off dance. You can't have both time and frequency highly sharp. That's the time frequency uncertainty principle. To improve frequency detection, mathematicians have developed new tools such as the short-term Fourier transform, which divides in many little segments, the Gabor transformation, which does the same but normally it by multiplying by a Gaussian distribution or the wavelet transform which does not use the rotating circle but adjusts its time window and its frequency range relative to the previous time point in the signal using autocorrelation. So whether we want to understand brain waves, radiation in space or music, we can understand frequency patterns in all of these recordings and it is thanks to the ideas of Joseph Fourier that we can start detecting frequencies in the universe. Drop music if you had a few transformations. If you'd like to learn more about music and science, follow or have a look at the links if you'd like to learn with me. If you want to learn how your brain works and the art of musical emotions, come learn with me and fellow neurofans.